What's going on guys? It's Alex here. Today we'll be doing a quick review on the Roto Grip Gem. Hopefully you enjoy. Starting off with the house shot, I noticed that the dry on the outside really helps the gem go through nicely. It goes through the three stages easily while being controllable. It has area because of the early roll and the help of the house shot. I was able to play deeper in the oil as well, but the ball would end up skidding more and was not able to create the ideal ball motion. If I missed my target right, the ball would continue to hook, which is a good sign in my opinion. I recommend playing straighter angles with this ball. Playing on this lane, I felt like it was a sport shot. There was way more oil on the outside and I felt like I had less miss room. Keeping the gem too much in the oil would prevent it from creating the ideal shape. Another thing to notice is that it would leave flat 7 pins. This means that it was not the ideal ball for this condition. It is important to note that bowling balls are tools and there is a time and place for everything. This was not the time for this ball, but I tried to make it work. This doesn't mean that it was a bad ball. I noticed that the shape it was giving me reminded me of a stronger urethane look. Once again, swinging the ball to the gutter was giving me a better look. It was once again controllable, and I felt like it was predictable. The gem gives off more of an angular shape compared to a continuous shape. I feel like the better look for this pattern at this time was my Power Torque Pearl. Alright guys, so to answer the question if you should get this ball, in my opinion I agree. Um, the ball is really good once it has a little bit of lane shine to it. It gives it a little bit more uh, motion in the back end, I would say. This is a good ball for the fresh, I believe. You want to use this when you first start your league, like the first games of the league. It won't look as good in the end because it will leave those flat sevens. Um, for many people, this is definitely the first ball in the bag that you would use. It's good for those heavy conditions. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I got to say for it. Was it worth it for me? I think it was. I really like the ball, especially when it's, uh, it has a little bit of lane shine to it. it. Gives me a little bit more shape in the back, like I said. And uh, basically, yeah, that's all I want to talk about. Thank you for watching this review, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.